So I'm here with my Nintendo 64 and it just kind of sucks the way we have to still use our Nintendo 64 like the way we do. It sucks that nobody's made a cable or uh, the mod that they have is kind of deep, you know? Kind of too hard to do. This is my controller. Uh, we got an EverDrive there. Very cheap, but works good. And you can hear it here. And uh, in order for me to use it, look at the mess I gotta go through. So I have it connected with a nice multi cable. It's shielded very good. And uh, there's a converter I have it in right now. Get this stupid thing to focus. So I have it in S video, it also has audio video, and uh, it comes out on this side HDMI. I got a button right here that'll go ahead and let me change it to 1080p and audio video. I mean, S video and uh, audio video, so I can switch from either of these to video or S video with the click of a button there's just two buttons and an auxiliary out so you can put your sound if you want into a bass tube or a bluetooth speaker um, so that's how i have it connected and if i want to connect my scan line generator it's even more of a mess because then i have to put this part into the converter and then it goes through here and then after it's got to get converted again to go through the HDMI because for some reason this television doesn't accept 720p through VGA. And one of my other TVs doesn't accept 480p through VGA. But I'll show you guys what's going down, how the image quality is fairly decent, I would say. I mean. I'll show you the difference too between S video as well. I mean, audio video, or RCA, just RCA decks. Man, this is not working. Come on, I need a better focus. So you can see, it looks fairly good considering the Nintendo 64 is notoriously known for its blurriness. But I would say it looks pretty good. I'm gonna press start on it. Cruising USA, obviously, you guys can hear it. I would say it's not too bad at the moment. Some games will need my scanline generator. I mean, they will. See that? We got 720p right here. I can boost it to 1080, but you won't see much of a difference. This is audio video, by the way. So this is audio video. See all the dirt? Dirt here? And especially here. Now we'll put it back to S video. You can see it says S video down there. All the dirt is absent now, it's gone. And the converter does a little bit of upscaling itself. It's not the best upscaler, but it, it, it's definitely not the worst. Worst. And you guys can see that. It looks Pretty good. So I'll go ahead and throw on another game. This is how I do it. I'll show you guys. I just reset it. It does that little warning there telling me I don't have the software, but I do.
I guess that's what it does when you reset it. But I like it so you just reset it rather than turn it on and off. I don't feel like doing that. So if I put on something like... I want to put on something that you actually have to use the... The... Expansion pack. I do have the expansion pack in there. I'm almost certain Army Heroes has it here. One of these army men, maybe two or one. So you can see that that's it, it's done loading. So it's really, really good. Cartridge or Everdrive, pretty good. It comes in with a built in, uh, so it says expansion pack installed, so it does work with it. I think it provides better graphics. But with the cost of the frame rate, I think. Okay, so here we go, options. So we got the res, you can see where I'm at right here. Resolution here. So I have it on high now. And I think that's it. Yep. Let's go ahead and play. Alright, so we'll get a load how the high res looks in this game. Supposed to be high res, you know. It does look pretty good. All the writing doesn't have any dirt around it. I must say, it does look pretty decent. It doesn't look super, super good, you know. But it does look better than just audio video by itself. So we'll choose one more game that uses the expansion pack. Give me a second. Alright, so I got another game in here. I'm not sure if this one uses it. I think it may use it. Ah, that didn't work out, right? Since I couldn't find one, I'll just put in my cartridge here of a, you can see it's Star Wars Rogue Leader, or Rogue, Rogue Squad. We'll put in this one. I know it uses it for sure, and it does a great job when it's in. So let's put that in. So you can see it's showing the little, um, I'll reset it so you guys can see. It's showing the little expansion pack. We 
race against time to recover the crew and cargo of a downed rebel ship. Before the It looks like it. I'm playing it through an emulator or something. It looks, does look pretty good. It looks very good. I'm impressed with that. It does look pretty Rocket. decent. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's see what the game looks like. I'm picking up multiple signals. Guys, it's coming in fast. I thought I'd just put in another game. Let's see what this looks like. This game's rather blurry. This game right here, you would need some scan line stuff in it. Yeah, not too bad. For the Nintendo 64, that's not too bad. So that's all I play. Until somebody makes an HD one. And then. This is what that ever tribe looks like. I thought I showed it to you guys real quick. So here it is, just a simple. It's got a SD card. You got a micro um, USB outlet. It's got like this hole, but it's blocked off. $65. Greatest thing I've ever bought for Nintendo 64. Thanks a lot.